welcome back to another edition of simple things in puzzle lab in this particular edition we are going to look at how to design this simple test effect in puzzle lab you've been seeing this kind of test effect around right yeah that's exactly what we are going to do today on the simple things in puzzle lab edition all right so if you really want to watch this then just stick around and watch everything to the end and grab all the concepts for yourself hey this is Goswe here from Serene Arts and I welcome you back to my channel if you are new here please consider subscribing and if you are old over here thank you so much for coming back so without further ado let's jump into the tutorial straight forward now the first thing that we want to do is to change the background of our work working space so we are going to use white for the meantime and later on we can equally change it right so we're using white and let's go ahead and import the picture that we want to use okay so i'll just pick a random image from my gallery so i'll just have to locate the picture quickly and go ahead to use it right awesome i grab a picture just right here so i'll increase the size of it a bit yeah i think this is pretty much okay for me so I'll just put it here and go ahead and lock it okay so any image at all you want to use you can just use it okay this is just for tutorial sake that uh, you can use any image at all you want to use all right so uh, right after doing that you input a shape so you go to the plus icon then you tap on shapes so you just have to stretch the shape you can change the color of the shape just to make sure that you are seeing every part of it clearly okay so you change the color of it this way and stretch it to fit perfectly onto your working area stretch it now if you want to see exactly the areas of the picture that your shape is covering just lower the opacity of the shape like this so that you get to see exactly where it is covering before you proceed okay so uh for my own is covering let's say half of the head okay so i can increase the opacity back like this and probably change the color to maybe black yeah i want to deal with black and white for the beginning aspect of this uh, tutorial so having done this the next thing to do is to input your test so you go to test go to edit then you just have to put the test over there let's say i'm going to use a test like hoop so I'll just type h o p e all right so tap on done make it capitalize tap on ok then go ahead to change my font all right so you can literally use any font at all that you want to use so i think i'm going to use poppins let me search for another version of poppins that has poppins board but i'm going to search for another version all right so we have poppins black Poppins extra board. I think I'll go with the extra board. Yeah. So I'll just have to increase the size of it to my preference. Okay. So 119 is not bad. I think it's okay for me. So what I'll do next, you you guys can see that the, the space between the hoop, the latest of hoop, is kind of wide. And I don't want it like that. So I'll go to the space line line spacing so this line spacing i'll go to the vertical one then i'll reduce the space between them all right so once i'm okay with it i'll tap on a check mark and come and push the test to this shape all right so i'm putting the test on a black shape and i have to change the color of the test so probably i'm going to use white okay i'm going to use white for it like i said i want to use just black and white for this design so that you get to see everything clearly now having changed the color to white you are not done the next thing to do is to add a stroke to your test now adding the stroke to your test you have to be careful of the kind of color that you are going to use so right after adding the stroke to this hoop we will merge it with a black shape now since the color of the shape is black we want to use black for the stroke as well all right we want to use black for the stroke as well because after merging we will clear off the hoop okay to create a hollow space within the shape so once we clear off the hoop 
the stroke of the hook and that of the main shape will be together so it will be like black black so that will be a perfect match we don't want to use a different color for the stroke so i hope you understand the reason why we are going to use black for the stroke all right so let's do that quickly so we go to stroke and we enable the stroke increase it you increase it to your preference okay you can bring it to the white background just to see how your stroke is looking so once you are okay with the size of the stroke you tap on a check mark so i'm going to use 20 and i'll go back and just reduce or increase the space between the letters a little bit okay so i think i'm okay with this and i'll bring it back here now bringing it back to the black background with a black stroke look at what i'm going to do i'm not going to put all the shape or all the test onto the black shape like this but rather i'm going to leave a space okay just a little space okay a little space right here if you look at this carefully i think let me change the color of the the shape so that you get to see exactly what i'm talking about i'll just change the color and change it back so that you see what i'm doing okay now the color is red look at what i'm doing i'm not going to place all this later like like this i'm not going to place it like this okay rather i'm going to place it such that part of the test will just be on the subject's face that is the picture below the the lady's picture part of this hope test will be on her face all right part of it will be just a small portion will be on her face and the the greater portion will be on the shape all right so let's change the color of our shape back to black all right so we just have to do that quickly now right after doing that we go to the layer color then merge the two shapes at the top so after merging them we go to erase color tap on it and this is what you are going to get okay this is what you are going to get now if you want to change it to white just go to the color all right color enable it then you can change it to white if you want okay so it is very very simple this is how you can do this test effect in pixel lab very very easy if you also want to use a different color you can go ahead and use it just like this let me show you how to do that quickly so i'm using this color so i have to change the background color to the same color so that it will be a perfect match okay so just like this this is pretty much easy right yeah if you enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to give this video a like and also leave a nice comment below and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications so that anytime i post a new video youtube will notify you immediately this is godswe here and i hope to see you in the next tutorial bless you